y'all, what's up? Welcome back to another mail time. Still have tons to catch up on. We have a pretty big episode here. And we're here with IW Rocker, little Emma, Pedro, and of course, Danilla behind the camera. So here we go, guys. Let's get right into it. We have no time so to waste. First uh, little package here just says Adele Y'all. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's like an alias. Uh, they are from New South Wales, Australia. So thank you so much. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay, so um let me see here we looks like we have a dvd oh this is cool you know what this is this is the castle this is a what? classic one of the best right yeah the please movie. find and close australian comedy film the castle this dvd is region 4 dvd so you might need an all region dvd player to watch it alternatively i think it should run okay on a computer watch it with the aussie soundtrack the castle is very much loved australian film many people see it as their favorite australian film and has been voted as such in polls australians See, it is going to the heart of what it is to be Australian. This small minority it is a piss take of blue collar working families. The film is famous for adding a number of phrases to the Australian vernacular. The film mentions the Mabo legal case a bit. You should have a look at the wiki article on Mabo before watching the film. You should enjoy the Australian car references. And then he has some links to some of the articles to read before the film. Really, really cool. And that is it. Uh, no signature. So. Basically from Deli All, which I think is like some sort of username. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, this is really, really cool. It's in great shape. And uh, yes, classic Australia. The castle. The castle. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next up we have this small envelope. And this is from uh, Sarah in New South Wales, Australia. So... Sarah, thank you very much. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's uh, go ahead and see what we got. Uh, hi, Eden and family. Thank you for making great videos, which have really helped me get through some hard times during lockdown last year. I was contemplating whether or not to send you my art zines for many months, but decided when you reacted to your first Australian history video. I made some very dark art in a series called Pursue You to Death, which focuses on a time period and deaths that are uniquely associated to that time and place. I made this one on the colonial Australia during the first 2020 lockdown. It contains lots of research and sources if you want to learn more. Some of my own ancestors were convicts and I like to learn and engage in their past and acknowledge the murder and cruel inhumane treatment of the First Nations people of this land back then. I hope you got some uniquely different I hope you get something uniquely different in learning some of our darkest history in this format. P.S. I also included a Zyre I made in collaboration with other artists about dark local history chosen by the artists from Australia, USA, UK, and Portugal. Wow, really, That's really crazy. cool. That's awesome. And here we are. So <clears throat> these are, look at this. First of all, we have a little sticker, right? Mm -hmm. With the theme. See that? Oh, I yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. There's an art piece right there, 2020, indeed. Oh, it's crazy. Super, super. It's very artistic. It's hmm. The colonial book, as well. That's crazy. This is so like it's cool that like this, you know. He's looking at the history and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Oh my gosh. And then it some is more. Dark stuff stickers and stuff like that really neat oh this is like i don't know this is cool stuff you know it's, it's yeah so thank you very unique take on mail time here very interesting stuff uh and obviously a piece of history whether it's good or bad it's all part of the history especially with australia yeah. and um, so thank you for these these are really educational pieces and of course uh this is from Sarah or Sarah. So thank you very much for this. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you so much. I'm going to definitely look into it. I think that's really cool to learn about. All right. This uh, next box here is from Martin in Melbourne, Australia. Martin, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and rip it open. Okay. Here we go. We got it open. Got a big Coles bag in here with the goodies. So, whoa. Whoa. I see something really interesting in here. Let me grab the note first. It's heavy. We so, we do have a small note. Hi, Ian and family. Wanted to say thanks for the great videos during lockdown and 
help keeping me sane. I've tried goldfish and Cheez-Its. They weren't my taste. Uh, those obviously being American snacks. I've included some snacks I enjoy, plus some extras that I hope you enjoy. Uh, from Martin. P.S. Keep up the good work, mate. Martin, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and see what we got in here, right? Thank you, Martin. Some snacks. First of all, we have Arnott's Country Cheese. What? Uh, crackers, I guess. Ooh, nice. Those uh, those look pretty tasty, yes. not gonna lie. Huh? Nice. I taste like crackers. Oh. You like that, huh? Yeah. You like this? And we have some more crackers. Please, These are called okay. Cheds with real peco pecorino cheese. Ooh. So pretty different Fancy. than uh, you would normally see here, right? I never heard about that cheese. I like that. Yes, that is news to oh, me. Oh, this is nice. Really. I think that's gonna be tasty, though. We're gonna try them out. And then also we have, oh, look at this. This is cool. We have three tastes of Australia. Emu, kangaroo, and crocodile jerky. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. That's nice, huh? That's crazy. And then, look at this. We have a... T <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I think I'm set for Vegemite on, uh, on, for life here, right? We have a tub of Vegemite. Oh my god. Which, by the way, is, you know, famous for using like this much. Yeah. You know, so, uh... I think we're good. No, that's <laughs> I think my we're whole good life. at Vegemite, for sure. Apparently there's and it's a, got some weight to it. Apparently there's a food shortage, so like, you're fat. I think, thank we're, you. I think our family is set. Yes, thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, nice. And uh, I believe that is it. So thank you for that, Martin. Excellent box. Some great snacks. Uh, we're going to try these real quick, okay? Before we uh, sign off. I'm going to try. Test. Taste test. Mmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, God. You like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like good. Okay. You good? Nice. What kind of cheese is that? I've never heard about that cheese. I know, me neither. I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. Come on, that one. Ah! <laughs> it's good. It's got like the smoky mm. taste. Nice. Mmm. <laughs> Man, what? That's good with beer. <laughs> All right. Next package uh, is this box right here we have from Mel in Queensland. So, Mel, thank you very much. Let's see what we got. All righty, Mel. Ooh, look Ooh, at this. What's that, stickers? Look at that, huh? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, my God. God. <laughs> and uh, they have a note on the back. They had a note on the back that says, this one has your name written all over it. And uh, I'd have to agree. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. I like that a lot. That is totally my speed with the wow. uh, early Ute postcard there. Very neat. Wow. <laughs> oh, man, probably 40s, 50s, 50s maybe. maybe. Something <laughs> and uh, beautiful postcard here with multiple screenshots. Oh, of Central Australia. It's beautiful. And we do have a uh, note on the back of this one that says, Dear Ian and family, hopefully this finds its way to you, along with my first package. The Postal Service is all over the place these days. Yes, it is. So is my messy writing. Sorry. I hope you and Daniela and the kids are all well. Hi to Pedro as well. Mm. Have you have loved watching your channel over the past year? Like many have said, it really helped, especially during lockdowns. I learned some things about my own country even, laugh out loud. Uh, mostly what I've learned is to appreciate it a lot more. I've sent you some snacks, some chips that you hopefully haven't tried yet. The chickadees are something I had growing up, kind of like a chicken flavored Cheeto, I guess. The chili cheesels are just a great, just a hint of bite. The rock, paper, scissors Cheetos looked fun. A few chocolates too. The stubby holder, koozie, literally had your name on it. And the fact that it's tires made me laugh. The container also has sauces, condiments from Aussie. Oh, from Aussie Macca's and Red Rooster. What? That's really cool. Obviously, Macca's being McDonald's in Australia, but it's quite different, right? Yeah. And then Red Rooster, we don't have at all, but I've seen uh, on a video before I, I screened one time where someone was trying like food from there. It's a fast food place. It's like a chicken place. Like a chicken place. Yeah, it's and it good. looked pretty good. And we don't have them, so I was a little bit jealous. But wow. uh, that's very neat. We'll have to take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can try some chips, fries, or nuggets. Take care. Cheers, Mel. Aww. Thank you, Mel. Very nice postcard and note. Appreciate that. Clearly, this looks like it's going to be an awesome box. So, thank you, uh, Mel. Thank you, Mel. 
Ooh, this is this is a cool postcard. Love the colors. Love the different things featured here. Mm. This is none other than Sunshine Coast in Queensland. Wow, it's beautiful. Look all those pictures. Right? Beautiful. Really neat, yeah. huh? Sunshine oh, Coast. Yeah. La Costa. A beautiful Sunshine Coast. I spent many wonderful days up there during my childhood. A popular destination for road trips in Queensland. The Big Pineapple was a fun place to visit back in the day. Sadly, it's not what it used to be. Noosa has become almost as popular as the Gold Coast as a tourist spot. Wow. So, uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Thank you for that. Thank you, Mel. Okay, and let's start out. Let's just start grabbing stuff. We have an awesome tea towel, presumably. Whoa. From, uh, what is this? What do we got here? <laughs> yeah, a lot of little animals. What is this? Greetings? Coast. From Bribby Island, Bribby Island, Queensland? Sunshine Coast. That's beautiful. Very neat. Huh? Whoa. What did it say? The beach. Various landmarks and uh, highlights, I suppose. Whoa. Very cool, huh? That's very really pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. That looks fun, doesn't it? That's really <laughs> nice. Oh, and uh, this must have been what they were referencing. First of all, we have some hidden candies. I'll, I'll shop those out. We have Kinder or Kinders. Bars, picnic layers, right there, okay? okay? Those are always fun, so thank you for that. And look at this stubby holder slash koozie. We say koozie, remember? Uh, what a perfect way for me to hold my beer. Oh, yeah? We have tires <laughs> with my name on it. Oh my god! How cool is that? Oh, that's so cool! That's my name, huh? Isn't that nice? Oh, that's so nice! We have the sauces. I think this is a really cool idea. You guys what? always blow me away in mail time with the creativity, the bizarreness. This is really, really neat, okay? Let's break it open. And indeed, Whoa. look at this. <laughs> we have a sweet and sour from Macca's down under. The McDonald's, yeah, oh. Australia. It's different, huh? Yeah. Obviously, just, just slightly different, right? Sweet and sour. I wish we had one to compare, but um, I know ours look a little different than that. So very cool to see. Oh my I gosh. love novelty things like this. So uh, are you gonna eat it? No, <laughs> probably not. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe if the oh date's better. This is something we don't know about at all. What is we that? We have sweet and sour sauce, indeed, from Red Rooster. Really oh. cool. Red Rooster. Is this a restaurant that has in Australia? Like fried chicken, but it's de pollo. Yeah. Restaurant de pollo. And then look at we have ketchup packets <laughs> from Macca's, and indeed it says McDonald's Australia. So what? This is See? really cool. This is, this is chicken from Australia. See, it's ketchup Australia, the McDonald's. McDonald's. What? <laughs> That's crazy. That's fascinating, right? Yeah. Very cool idea. I I, I must say. Oh my gosh, that is a really cool idea. And look at this. We have Heinz Big Red from either McDonald's or somewhere, kind of maybe maybe a, another restaurant. Mm -hmm. Really cool. I bet, I'm gonna try one with fries because I bet this tastes different. I, oh, I bet it does, yeah. Uh -huh. Now, how cool are these? We have McDonald Land cookies from down under. Cookies from McDonald's? Yeah. They have cookies <laughs> from McDonald's over there? That's really neat, huh? What? I don't think we have packaged These are like the little like kids, that, right? for los niños. <gasps> Cookies at McDonald's. That's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, we don't have this here. No, I don't think we do. I think you're no. right. We have cookies at McDonald's, but yeah, like they come in like their own. They don't come in that. They come in just a white thing, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at it. Do we have this, honey? What? What's that? Honey? Come on, me. Aioli from McDonald's? Okay, yeah. that, no. We, we don't, don't have, have that. No, um, do no, we? we don't eat Come on, Ian. They have wow. fancy. They have fancy McDonald's over there. McDonald's is literally fancy there. Yeah. I mean, it's arguably an upscale restaurant. It's like mayonesa más fina. Sí, pues hay hay aquí. Allá tienen eso aquí no. Yeah. Aquí no. Australia, you see. I go to Australia. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to Australia. Vámonos. Get some good food over there. And then finally, we have barbecue sauce. Now this one would be fun to try because Australians love barbecue as well, but they have their own version, their own flair. Is that McDonald's? Yeah. Ooh, I wonder how it tastes like. I know. I bet it tastes way different than ours. Mm. You know? 
Very, yeah, very barbecue. neat. The barbecue? Uh-huh. I can't believe that. That is seriously so cool. I cannot thank you enough. Really, really neat idea. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, and uh, moving on, we have some more candies, I believe. Well, we do here. This is a Cadbury mini eggs. Mini Aww. chocolate delights. <laughs> very neat. What do we got here? Oh, that's pretty neat. What is it? <laughs> we have an Australian flag, but it's a mini Australian flag. Apparently, it's made to go over your fuel cap. Oh, that's kind of funny, that's right? Cool. You see that? For the you gasoline. Know, for your gasolina, the cap. The Australian flag. <laughs> Very cool, huh? Yeah, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> I've never even seen something that goes over your fuel door. That's uh, really neat. <laughs> That's Thank cute. you for that. Thank you. And we have greens, Australians. This is 1978 Golden Gate Time brownies. Ooh. Oh my gosh, brownies. That sounds uh, that sounds real nice. That's delicious. Brownie mix, right? Uh -huh. well, Let's tape. Let's see. Let's get the tape off. Oh my. <laughs> Here we go. We have Whoa, more oh food. Gosh. Let's look. Those packs. Oh my God. We got CCs. <laughs> Cornados, cheese supreme, ooh, like corn chips, yeah. Cool, come on, like Frito Lay's kind of. No, yeah. they're weird. They're like cones. Yeah. Kind of like bugles. Or something? Uh huh, bugles. Maybe? Yeah. We can try any of these out, by the way, guys, if you want. Okay. We have chick chick chickadees. What? <laughs> chick chick chickadee. <laughs> That's hilarious, chick right? Like, yeah. Chickadees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you got okay. Cheetos? Okay, how cool is this? We have Cheetos Rock, what is this? Rock Paw Scissors. They're little paws. Let me see. Or, or no, they're all the pieces. They're rock, paper, scissor pieces. Whoa. That's cool, right? Cool. I've never seen anything like that here. No. Very neat. Cheetos from Australia. Mm -hmm, Australia. And they're, yeah, they're rock, they're rock, paper, scissors, you know. Uh -huh, like a game, you know. That's neat, huh? You gonna try it? Yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna try those. Uh, we have, I've never seen these before. Where are they? We have bags of Pringles. Pringles? Pringles That's so cool. always come in a cylinder here, uh -huh. right? which I know they do there too. But, I but I've never in a seen bag. bags of Pringles. That's really neat, right? Uh -huh. It's just kind of funny, you know. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, chicken. Yeah. Sabor a pollo. And then we have more of the CC's Cornados. Okay. Nice. Very nice. nice. Yeah. And then we have some little candies over here. Let me get those out of the way. We have oh, yeah. these are awesome because remember we don't get any flavors of these here. We have Kit Kat Cookie mm -hmm. Collisions. Of course, we don't have that in the States. Whoa, that's cool. That's really different. Really neat, huh? Oh, Some different oh, Kit Kats. Sorry about the camera, guys. I'm just fixing my hand. You good? Yeah. And then we have Kit Kats mint chocolate chips. These look stellar. Oh my gosh, y'all. Mint Yummy, chocolate huh? chips. And uh, let me see. We also have... We have Violet Crumble Bunnies Caramel Edition. <laughs> Pretty funny. It's so cute. And going to like these. Oh yeah. And it was like bunny? Bunny. What? Bunny. Yes, it's yeah. bunny. Here Juju, you give one. You give him a bunny. That's for you, Juju. I want a bunny too. Alright, and then finally we have Oh, these are cool. These are sort of like we what we have here. Uh, it just says in a biscuit. Whereas here they're called chicken in a biscuit, right? Oh my god. Drumstick you love flavor. Those. Yes, I love those. Very, very cool. Oh, now this is neat. I like this idea. This is uh, Mr. Hamfreeze microwavable pork crackle popcorn. What? And uh, I don't think we've gotten anything like this, have we? It's popcorn. Does it taste like pork? It must. Um, I don't recall. What a puerco? I don't recall ever seeing pork <laughs> popcorn here. I know. Right? Right, maybe good. It might be really good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we will definitely try that, okay? Okay. Another time. Yeah. And uh, finally, to round out the box, I believe this is it. It is. We have mm. cheesels. Now, we love cheesels. This is the chili cheese flavor. Nice. So, uh, thank you very much for that. <laughs> Yummy, huh? And I say we uh, try some Cheetos stuff Cheetos. real quick, yeah? Yeah. I think we want to try the Cheetos? Yeah. Yeah? 
Thank you, Mel. That's awesome. Oh, and these are, uh, by the way, did I mention the Cheetos are cheese pizza flavor? I did not even notice that. What? So uh, <laughs> these are totally different than American Cheetos. And uh, here we go. Let's see what we got. Ooh, okay. Looks like I grabbed a paw first. Okay, do it. All right. Let me try it. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Can I do that? Those are good. They are like pizza. <laughs> you can taste the red sauce. They like nice. it. I like those better than regular Cheetos. Oh my God. Keep in mind, I don't actually eat Cheetos. I'm not a fan of them. My wife does like them a lot. Yeah, I like cheese. I don't like them, but I like these. So this flavor, I would eat. If they had these in the States, I would eat these. Oh, I know you would. I mm. you're loving this. <laughs> Light as air. Mel, can't thank you enough. Really, really clever box we have here. Great assortment. And of course, the sauces was an awesome touch from the restaurants, of course. Uh, again, thank you so much. You did a great job. Appreciate thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, and then we have this big old box of next. This is from Maria in South Australia. Maria, thank you very much. Let's see what we got. A very special package because, Maria, I think we've contacted you before. This is who I'm thinking of. And uh, I believe we have something very personal, very handmade, guys. So uh, let's jump right to this, all right? This is awesome. Anything personable like this or, or handmade that took some time, we can't thank you enough because that's very yeah, generous. Yeah. It's very personal, right? Thank and you so uh, much. well, let's pull it out, shall we? Yeah. The box is a little banged up. But... Whoa. Okay, so. Wow. Look at this. All righty. Oh, 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 look at that. We got some surprises in there. What? Oh, my Don't worry. Gosh. We got a safe landing. Look at that, Emma. Isn't that crazy? Look, you can take that. We got a Mustang, a GT350. Whoa. What is this? Guys, I, oh, you know what? This is a weird car. I was almost about to be embarrassed because I'm a car guy. I should know this. This, I believe, is a Volkswagen Carmen Ghia, right? You guys can correct me. I think it's a Carmen Ghia. Volkswagen. Okay. Really weird looking car. Juju, come on this. So, uh, very oh, cool surprise. Oh, nice. Say thank you. Say thank you, Australia. Thank you, Australia. Say thank you, Maria. Thank you, Australia. Thank you, Australia. So, very nice surprise in there. And uh, let's get a look at this, all right? Because this is beautiful, all right? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. That's look for Andrew. That. That's for Andrew. Nice color scheme. Oh. <laughs> and it's so cozy and cuddly. I love it. Here, buddy. Test it out. Here's your blanket, Juju. You love it, Juju? And then, Emma, this is for you. <laughs> See if there's anything in there. Yeah, be careful. Okay. See, it's maybe something in there. Oh my goodness, look, Emma. What? That's so generous. Look. You got a doll. Wow. There. Oh my wow. God. That's for you. Thank you, Australia. Thank you, Australia. Thank you. Can you stand up? Yeah. And show the camera? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. That's Just very like nice, you. babe, huh? Thank you, Maria. Family. Maria, that's amazing. Thank you, Aww. everybody. That's a beautiful doll. Be careful, honey. And uh, this is also for you. And Emma. look at the blanket. This is gorgeous. That's for you. Oh my gosh! Thank you. Very nice, Thank huh? You. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. The kids love it. Thank you. Yes, that's a beautiful gift. I love the design. Huh? Thank you, baby. Oh. You say thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Uh, All righty, next up we have this envelope from Christopher in Adelaide, South Australia. Christopher, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and see what we got. All right, Christopher, here we go. Uh, let me see. Okay, we got a note and some magazines. I think that's it. Okay, let's look at the note first. Hey guys, so happy you enjoyed the Hayes chocolates that I sent you. It's that, Christopher. I do remember that very vividly. Me too. You got awesome taste. 
Uh, here are a few magazines. The South Australian Caravan and Camping Guide, the Adelaide Fringe Festival 2022 Guide, and the Garden of Unearthly Delights. The Adelaide mm. Fringe is Australia's highest ticketing multi-arts festival and is the second largest fringe in the world. Between mid-February and mid-March each year, it features more than 7,000 artists from around Australia and the world. The three main temporary venue hubs are the Garden of Unearthly Delights, Gluttony and the Royal Croquet Club, and other temporary and permanent venues hosting fringe events and scattered across the city, suburbs, and region. In a period in Adelaide's calendar referred to by locals as Mad March, other events running concurrently are the Adelaide Festival of Arts, another major arts festival starting a week after the Fringe, which includes Adelaide Writers Week and the four-day World Music Festival, Womadelaide. That's a cool play on words. And um, I believe that's it. And signed by Chris. So, Chris, thank you so much. Very insightful letter. Uh, we appreciate everything you've sent us. Thank you, you Chris. always do awesome, so thank you for that. Uh, this is something I could uh, look up, obviously, for my own entertainment and uh, maybe even do a reaction on because I, for some reason, have a particular attraction to Adelaide. I feel like Adelaide would be a really cool place, the climate, the culture, the mountains behind the skyline. I feel like it's a really cool place. Let's take a look at the magazines. We have SA Parks, South Australia. Uh, caravan and camping guide and this is brand new it's from 2022 wow so really really neat that's crazy really cool yeah, right yeah, yeah, nice. the archway yeah. there in the coast and uh yeah we have gear we have guides ads everything in between really really cool it's beautiful and um like i always say i think it's really neat that caravanning camping you know, RVing, road tripping, these kinds of things are very synonymous with Australia and the United States. It's one thing we both share, yes. right? We have both have mm -hmm. massive countries that are beautiful and very diverse. And uh, that's one thing that both countries kind of connect on. And uh, so that, that really interests me. That, that's <laughs> something we like personally. Yeah, that so. was fun. Uh, and then we have the Adelaide Fringe Festival <laughs> uh, booklet here. Oh, really neat. that's cool. Yeah. All the art. Really neat, huh? Yeah. You that's see that beautiful. on the back? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Looks like a very fun time. Visually stunning, as always. <clears throat> and yeah, this is a complete guide. That looks fun. And if I've learned anything is that the uh, limited exposure I've had to art festivals and light shows, fireworks, all these different things in Australia, they always seem to do really well. They knock it out of the park. So <laughs> I bet that's a great time. Thank you. One day we'll go. Yes. And... Uh, of course, we have the Garden of Unearthly Delights here, the Garden, 20 years, 17th of February through the 20th of March, right there. Oh, that's cool. Really, really neat. Uh, let beautiful. me peek also at this beer ad on the back for none, none other than Cooper's. Really cool. Colorful ad. Nice. I like the colors. I, I, uh, I like that. Get some really cool. cool. Christopher, thank you for this. I do appreciate this as always. And uh, you always you. come up with clever stuff. You rock, buddy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really nice. Really nice. Uh, this is from mm -hmm. Mel as well. And this has been happening a lot lately. We have two, uh, what, packages for, from certain people per episode. I think that's kind of really neat how that's lining up. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Mel, you rock. This is the second package this episode. Hope you're excited. Uh, I know we are. We really appreciate that. So, this is Mel from Queensland. Um, like we saw earlier, totally different package. Let's see what we got. Okay, so here we go. We got the the heavy bag open here. All right, and make sure there's not any notes. I don't believe so. All right, we will find them inside if they are. So, oh, right here. Okay, so let's start with that. I believe we have mm -hmm. some books and uh, another envelope here. So, to the postcard from beautiful Brisbane, Australia. Nice Very area. nice area, right? Beautiful. Okay, we have Dear Ian, Daniela, and family. Been watching and loving your channel for many months. Like so many, it helped during all the COVID madness, isolation, lockdowns, etc. Plus, it's just, it's just damn entertaining. You and your family are so lovely and down to earth. We appreciate that. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Um, love your genuine interest in Australia. Pedro is a legend, too. A <laughs> legend. It's taken me a while to finally send a package. I've actually sent two 
you should get this one first. Well, we got them out of order, my, my fault, but we did get both your packages. They're both in this episode. How cool is that? Hopefully, it will help you plan your trip down under. Also, a book for the kids. Take care, Mel. Mel, thank you so much. Thank you, Mel. Uh, times again. two. You rock, all right? <laughs> thank you. And uh, we have this awesome envelope highlighting, may I say, some cool uh, hot spots in Australia, right? Nice. Um, and then maybe these are pictures. Oh, oh, oh. I believe they are. Oh, how cool. We have the legend of the Glasshouse wow. Mountains. Look at those, huh? Beautiful. Yeah, fantastic. And it has a little story on there. Really, oh, really cool. Gorgeous. Um, these, uh, I'm gonna like these. You, you must know, you must know me pretty well because uh, these are really neat. Uh, Mel actually has some notes on the back, so we're gonna read those in our own time. Um, these are really cool. Thank you for these. I'll, I will show you them though. So we have the Glasshouse Mountains. Cool. We have Mount Tibrogargan. Uh, part of the Glasshouse Mountains in Australia. Uh, wow, that is a beautiful area, right? <laughs> beautiful, huh? Wow, that's beautiful. Sometimes called Gorilla Rock by locals and kids. Very cool, huh? That's beautiful. <laughs> we have Mount Buller in Victoria, right there. Oh, and yes, like they snow. get snow there. Oh, it's snow. The only spot in Australia where it snows, wow. I think. Yeah. Cool down over there. We have Broken Hill in the Outback, Australia. The mighty Outback. And uh, some good notes by Mel as well. Oh. Nice. That's beautiful. Can't wait to read <laughs> about these. This is original rock. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Forward. We have the beautiful and famous <laughs> Blue Mountains. I think we've all at this point heard of the Blue Mountains right outside of Sydney. These are gorgeous. They are oh something gosh, else. Oh, my gosh. I heard about those. Yes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful mountains. Very cool. Uh, Danielle and I have oh, seen these in here. movies before, too. Yeah. These are very famous uh, with Australia, beautiful. right? Beautiful, yep. And then I don't think it gets more famous than Uluru. And um, we have Uluru, and I like that this features also Kata Juta below it. So really, really cool. Red Rock To Nation. see the Red Rocks, which They're you know beautiful. I love. Yes. But to see some love for mm. the not-so-famous uh, version below, I think that's really cool, oh. right? Because Uluru gets all the glory usually. Yeah. Really, really neat. Nice. Really, really cool. Oh yeah? my gosh, it looks nice. It's cold neat. and chilly oh, there. Very nice. Okay, so first up, we have Little People Big Dreams, Yvonne Gulagong. And this is written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vaguera, illustrated by Lisa Kosterki. And there we go, right there. Oh, I believe so this is. For the kiddos, yes. I love it. Thank really, you, really Mel. cool, huh? Alrighty, and then finally we have some big books that uh, wow, wow oh I might God. I might hog myself. <laughs> La Biblia. We have Explore Australia 2022, and this is huge. This oh is big gosh. as it gets, huh? How, oh my goodness, that's huge. Um, this is the type of thing I like right here. Wow. <laughs> Australia. You, you hit a home run, let me tell you. That's beautiful. This is awesome. It's for this year, Ian, 2022. Wow. I, uh, I, I could get lost in this book real quick, okay? <laughs> oh my. Very, very cool. We have the big banana. Look at that. At Coffs Harbor. Oh. <laughs> I love how we have some information. We have some, some pictures, some highlights. Wow. Very cool. These are those awesome painted yeah those um the the silo the look at this that's my, that's my daddy yeah. that's him <laughs> of course we have the cape byron lighthouse in byron bay very iconic mm -hmm. wow very very cool stuff yeah very nice thank very you impressive. Me. i like yeah. how we have different towns we have population counts wow, that's uh, maybe a brief synopsis on the area he loves that stuff uh, I am a geography freak, and this is going to be wow. a good way to brush up on some stuff. Look at this Hall's Gap. Look at that mountain. Look at the kangaroos. Beautiful, huh? Nice place. Lots okay. of nice places. Yeah, Beautiful it's big, landscape. you know? I know. Big place, almost mm -hmm. as big as the U.S., you know? Yeah, it's where people think it's a chiquito, but it's... It's huge. It's all the Estados but it's like another volteado. Well, it's actually wider than the U.S. <clears throat> but uh, that's an amazing book, okay? Just amazing, heavy... Beautiful, heavy duty, I love it. And uh, that's gonna be it for that box from Mel. Number two, thank you so much. Thank you, Mel. 
great stuff. Cannot thank you enough. Uh, something for everybody. 22, awesome. 2022. Yep. <laughs> Brand new, huh? Thank Very you so nice. Much, thank you. Alrighty, and uh, finally we have this box. This is from Wayne in Victoria. So. Wayne from Victoria, thank you very much. Let's see what we got. All righty, we got it broke open here. I see some newspapers. All right, and let's get to the good stuff here. We have a letter. All right, dear Ian and family, I have sent a book mainly to read to the children. Mm -hmm. It is just basically about the pandemic and change written by a psychologist. It happens to be my sister. What? what? She has signed it for you as well. Wow. Very, very nice and generous. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, no, both she and I have no idea what sort of animal the main character Rosie is supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie finds her power has been written to reaffirm that even when things are difficult in our ever-changing world, everyone can make a difference with their choices. With this new perspective on her day, Rosie makes a surprising discovery about her power. And uh, this book re gently reminds children of the power they have in their world simply by the choice they make every day. Hmm. And uh, this book can be found on Amazon, by the way. Rosie finds her power. So uh, make sure to check that out, okay? Yeah. Very, very cool. I've included some memorabilia from my personal collection from the V8 Supercars era of around 2010 when I was a volunteer official back then. Wow, very generous cool. of you. Very cool. I'm excited about that. I hope these items end up in a pool room they will. Uh, man cave. As you might be able to tell, the overalls are brand new along with the book, but nothing else is as I'm very tight for funds and I have a disability, but I'm willing to help your channel as well as, as you are embracing Australia a great deal. Well, thank you so much for sending anything. Thank uh, you. We never expect it. We would never ask anyone to, uh, but the fact that anyone can send anything to us, seriously, uh, thank you. I know it's a crazy time in the world. Uh, we do appreciate it. Sincerely. Uh, when eventually you do come to Australia, I hope you get a chance to meet, or I hope I get a chance to meet you and the family. I live in Victoria, about halfway between Melbourne and Phillip Island. Very cool. I'm sure we could uh, arrange that. Yes. Uh, and again, this is from Wayne in Cranbourne. So thank you, Wayne, so much for that awesome thank letter. Thank you. Uh, very generous of you, and let's go ahead and showcase what we got here, okay? Yeah. So first of all, we have a bunch of lanyards, and these are really nice. Really oh uh, dig these. These are easy to display in the pool room, of course, and uh, you get the cool logos, the cool colors. We have the Norton 360 Sandown Challenge V8 Supercars Australia. Nice. Uh, very cool. This is from 2009, okay? Oh. And we even have the included wristband, uh, presumably, that you oh would have worn gosh. for that event. So, very That's cool. So cool. Well-preserved for being over 10 years old. Thank you for that. <laughs> and we have another one from the Sandown Challenge with a different uh, color scheme. Presumably, this is a different year. I'm not seeing the year exactly, but uh, very cool. Same concept, right? Wow. Very, very nice. Thank you for that. We have a lot of these guys. This is awesome, Wayne. I can't, uh, can't believe this, buddy. This is Crazy. really cool. All right, and then we have this purple one that is 2009 V Supercars Australia Championship Series. Very cool lanyard as well. And this one actually has uh, a pass for the Island 300. Nice. Very cool, huh? Yeah, sorry about the race. Nice. Very, very nice, beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. And we have these blue ones here. This is Phillip Island 300. Very cool track, by the way. Mm -hmm. Very nice lanyard. You can look at one up close if you would like. Yes, good try. Right. This one's very similar. Mm -hmm. Yep. Different dates. So um, this is pretty epic. Cool. Uh, <laughs> all of these are cool. But this one, <laughs> this one is kind of a league above the rest, right? Uh, could I argue? This is a 2011 Formula One Australian what? Grand Prix. There you go. That's beast mode right there. Oh my god. It doesn't get any more prestigious than Formula One, right? Yeah. And of course, they do go to Australia. That's so, amazing. Uh, Thank you. That is absolutely incredible. Awesome logo with the F1 logo, and you can see the outline of the famous F1 cars right there. Really neat. Seriously, really neat stuff. That means a lot. I uh, I really do appreciate that, Wayne. Yes, thank you, Wayne. That really means a lot to me, and this will be proudly displayed, okay, in your honor. 
Very cool. This is a uh, v8supercars.com.au. The LNH 500 at Phillip Island. Very cool. And these presumably go on there. They might have fallen off. Um, these can be reattached quite easily. Of course, we have the 2009 Island 300, the Phillip Island 300 2012, and of course the 2011 LNH 500 at the Phillip Island. So there's our the tags. Of That's course. so cool. Very neat. May I add? Oh my gosh. Thank you, Wayne. This is really beautiful stuff. From his sister, literally. This is Rosie Finds Her Power. Okay, and this looks like a beautifully uh, illustrated book and written book, as you can see. Aww. Really, really cool, right? Yes. And uh, I appreciate that. That's very nice. Thank you for sending We will that definitely to read us. this to the kiddos. Yes, I love the whole and, story uh, behind it. I like, it. yeah, I like uh, having the courage uh, to write something to help out the kiddos in this crazy world. That uh, thank you for that. Quite frankly, we didn't have to grow up exactly like this, right? They're in a unique position. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's very nice. Alrighty, and next up, we have more. I think we have. The rest is packing material down here. Yes, okay. Okay, so nothing lost there. Now, what do we have here? He did yeah. mention overalls, right? Oh my God. I think we got some legit race team about oh. ready to go in the pits, guys. Oh my right? gosh. Take a look at this. Oh my yes, God. Yes, sir. We have racing <laughs> Are you overalls. Beautiful. <laughs> Very nice, huh? Oh my that is crazy! <laughs> that is so cool! I'm, uh, I'm ready for the for the racetrack, guys. <laughs> put, put it right now. Put it all right now. Let's go. <gasps> oh my gosh. You need a tire changer on your team? <laughs> Sign me up. See, I'm a Wayne. Yeah, Wayne, uh, I can safely say that you're blowing my mind right now, okay? All these oh. boxes mean a lot to me, and uh, they're always oh somehow gosh. at this point, after a year, they're still full of surprises. <laughs> but uh, I can safely say... <laughs> Yeah, I'm shocked. This is really, really cool. We have the official logo there. I, I can't see? believe it. These are in great shape. Oh my god. Really, really cool. Are you serious? <laughs> wow, this is so cool. That Thank is so you. cool. I'm, uh, I'm ready for the crew. What, a, what, Very nice. what can I say? <laughs> wow. Thank you, Wayne. Wayne, thank you. You get two thumbs up for me. Thank you, Wayne. Alrighty guys, last but not least, we're at the last package of the episode, and this is a big one. This is big, it's pink, it's heavy. Uh, <laughs> this is from Leanne in um, South Australia. So, Leanne, thank you so much. Uh, this is just huge. We're going to work on getting this open, then we'll cut to us, uh, well, when we're there, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, so we're still working on opening it. We're going to do that in just a second, but we did find a note inside, okay? So it says, hi Ian and family. Just a quick note to say how much I enjoy your channel. It's nice to see how much you enjoy this beautiful country. I'm from a small town right on the mighty Murray River called Renmark. Great place to relax. It's also home to the Red Bull Dinghy Derby. No kidding, that's kind of cool. Just to prove that we will really race anything anywhere. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> you might have to check out that, you might have to check that out which uh, I'm well aware of it because you guys have teached me so much, but I actually have not featured that on video, so uh, maybe I should do that very soon. Have sent something you might enjoy, Ian, and we'll get a package together for Daniela and the kiddos at a later date. Wow, that's very generous of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for what you do to promote our wonderful country. Cheers for now, Leanne. Leanne, thank you so much. I'm a little blown away because this is... A uh, camera never does it justice. This is really big. So let me cut again to the next scene where we have this open. I'm uh, I'm stoked. I'm really excited. I, I don't even know what to expect here, okay? So uh, we'll see you in a minute. Alrighty, so okay. we got the flaps open. We have a basically a reveal um, panel here. So I'm going to get straight to it. You ready, guys? Okay. Here we go. Let's pull this off. And <laughs> you'll see we have a beautiful, huge box with the iconic Holden logo. I know that when I see it. Uh, the final chapter, second edition. No idea what we're looking at here, but I, like I said, this is something with, with Holden. It's beautiful, so let's go ahead and see what we got, all right? I'm gonna have to get on. Uh... All right. Oh my Ready? gosh. Okay. 
Okay. Whoa. Okay, so we got it out. As you can see, this is a gorgeous box. It's so big and heavy. <laughs> Woo! All right, Whoa. shall we do the reveal? Yeah. Here we go. I don't know what we're going to look at. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, we got stickers. Tirana SLR 5000, GTR XU1, SS, the famous Sandman. Sandman in another font, really cool. Beautiful. So decals from the old cars, huh? Oh my god. Beautiful, I love it. Then we have this, look at how gorgeous this is. This is real printed like felt. Oh my god. Wow. Soft. Oh my god. I know believe it. This is amazing. I, I I don't even know what's going on, guys. We have packing here. This must open. Are you ready? Yeah. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Look oh at that. My Holy gosh. shit. <gasps> Pardon my French. Look at We have real badges. Oh, Los Caro, oh Los my Maria. God. That's so crazy. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> what? OK, this is crazy. I, let's keep going. <laughs> Holy smokes. What is this? Look at this old logo. The final chapter, Uniquely Australian, Volume 1, Second Edition. What? Oh my god, that book? <gasps> oh my There's goodness. There's two books. What? Wow. Get a look at how big that is. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, Leanne. This is incredible, Leanne. Um, wow. I'm blown away. <gasps> we have volume two right here. Oh my gosh. Jeez. <clears throat> I like how it shows the logo progressing. Old, slightly newer, and then the modern era wow. for volume three. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> Pride of the Lion, Volume 3, Second Edition. Wow. Oh my Beautiful. gosh. And then so we still have more. We have the Ute Edition for Volume oh. 4. <laughs> How cool is that, right? Yes. This is absolutely incredible. Um, I can't even explain to you in person how just quality and, and nice and fancy these look and feel. They're heavy. They're beautiful wow um they're shiny even the box is all felt and really nice the, oh. the fact that we have real badges and real decals here wow <laughs> oh this my is gosh beautiful. they're real <gasps> those are real as it gets those are not stickers no. they're not like some ebay special those are real holding badges wow you're the best Oh my That's, gosh. Yeah, this is incredible. What a way to end the episode. Thank um, you. <laughs> can I say thank you enough, Leanne? Wow. I'm blown away. Um, I, I really am sorry. I don't have even more words for you. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm just <laughs> kind of in shock. Kind oh of in shock gosh. here. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, as a car guy, this is like a dream. <laughs> this is incredible. Pretty sure I would like to brag that I'm the only American that has <laughs> this in the collection. So, That's uh, so nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you, Leon. Wow. Aww. Thank you, everybody, for another amazing episode of Mail Time. Look for an update in the pool room very, very soon. You guys are going to be blown away. You won't even understand it. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Um, thank you so much. Thank you guys you so are much, everybody. the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you so much. Woo. Wow. <laughs>